Hey y'all, it's me Barb again. It's Monday morning and what is it? Crumble time! <laughs> it ain't a crime to have a little crumble time. How y'all doing? Oh, fun, fun, fun. We're going to review four cookies this week and the four featured. The other one, the milk chocolate and the sugar uh, cookie with the almond, real almond extract are, uh, are, are being sold this week. So that's good. Well, you all, what's a week without a little tune, hey? Ready? And a one and a two and a three. <laughs> Okay, crumble cookies, crumble cookies, warm and delicious, soft and sweet. Crumble cookies, crumble cookies, oh what a treat, they can't be beat, I'm singing. Oh what a treat, they can't be beat, ba dum bum woo! <laughs> Okay, we are on our way of swimming. I was just listening to, it's a twist, dude. I, you know, it's, do you, are you this way where you, you like a song, you've heard it for decades or years or whatever, and you go to sing it and you can't figure out the words of the tune. It's like, doing the twist. Anyway, back at the twist days. I loved doing the twist as a kid. I, I was only like six or seven when it came out, I think. But I think I was around six, but who knows. But anyway, I think... I think that should come back. Anyway, <laughs> so for those of you who don't know what the twist is, look it up. I think it was Fats Domino that used to sing it. Oh, so good. Anyway, so let's do a little quick overview and we'll jump right in, okay? We have got today the cinnamon, now the light, there you go, the cinnamon fry bread cookie. The next one is the Neela bean cupcake. The next one, oh, 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 <laughs> you know, that's the molten lava. And this one, can you see that now, the light? There you go. Okay, lovely. And that's the lemonade, okay? So, and one of the other bakers said to me today, too, she said, um, oh, you know, they do tweak the recipe. So sometimes, you know, you might, I think it was Jillian. She's not a baker, but she's an awesome human being and a wonderful um, person who works at Crumble Cookies. She was saying, you know, but, you know, they sometimes they tweak the recipes, and often they do, and that can make the difference. And I said, I agree. But, um... Everybody at Crumble Cookies is friendly, and I hope at your Crumble Cookies they're friendly and they say, good morning, hello, or whatever. It makes a difference when you're going to buy a baked good. You're that kind of person that wants a little hoo-ha, you know, a little spark in your life, you know. So, um, but Grace, so I think she was baking today, and Christy waited on me. She's a very nice person. And um, I don't know if she's ever, I mean, she might have waited on me once before, but I don't think she ever did. But anyway, I always see her in the back there. But anyway, so hi, you guys. Thank you so much. You all are so kind and wonderful. Rebecca. Of course, you're awesome. And um, <clears throat> they're opening up a new store. So anybody that lives in the Western North Carolina area, it's going to be in South Asheville, which will be kind of nice for folks. There's a lot of people down there now. Back in the day when I first moved here, there was nobody in South Asheville. It was just all farmland. Uh-uh-uh now. Woo-hoo! Condos, apartments, stores, every everything. Lowe's, Target, you know, all the staples. Walmart, all those things are down there. Every fast food place, every restaurant you can think of. But anyway... Here we are in, in uh, Western North Carolina, and we are going to do the four. So let me, did I do an overview yet? Yeah, I just did the overview. See, that's what happened to you all. I know I keep telling you this, but if you're in your 20s or your teens or your 30s, let me tell you, you are not old. I know you, you are, you know, you're an adult, and I respect that. I'm just saying, if you think it's bad now, just you, just you wait. Henry Iggins, just you wait. What's that from? You all know that one. You've got to know that one. Um, but anyway, um, and I want to do a shout out to my friend Lori. And um, she's going, she, she just had sur surgery. Had another real, these are my old college roommates from the 70s, early 70s. And Anne, I'm thinking about you. She's in the hospital and she just had a mess of a time. And um, so I'm going to say a shout out. And you, and you folks, you, my bars besties, you see her comment. And um, yeah, we were roommates in 1974. And uh, oh, we had a wonderful time, wonderful memories. Kim was another one of our roommates. Those, those two are going through hard. Well, Cheryl too. Cheryl with your back surgery. Oh my goodness. I mean, Anne had a broken femur, and um, anyway, and, and Lori's had eye surgery, so I just want to say hi, you guys. I love you, and of course, I love all you bar besties and anyone that's watching. Listen, I'm just here to have a good time, so don't take me too serious, okay? So let's jump in. Let's start with the cinnamon fry bread. Fry bread. Oh, goodness. Part of it just broke off. Oh, another part broke off. 
how am I going to show you a good picture of it? I'm going to get this off the floor and stick it in there. I Oh, they're just falling off. Well, I'm sorry. You'll have to forgive me or or crumble or whatever. But, oh, I'm, I'm eyeing this part. Can you see that little crispy part? I am eyeing that like a like a hawk on a bird. A hawk on a, I don't know, a mouse. But, oh, God. Okay, so what is this? So do you know what fried bread is? I didn't before. But fried bread is, um, is, is a dish from the indigenous um, North American people. And it and it's a, um, what is it? It's a flat dough bread. And it's fried or deep fried in lard or oil or shortening. So, um, but this is a takeoff on it. And let me just show it to you. If I can, I sometimes I get my arm all twisted up. Uh, a melt in your mouth fry bread cookie smothered with melted butter and topped with a delicious scoop of cinnamon buttercream. Now, I do remember this. It's warm cookie. Now, you know, I'm going to be a little more couth today. I even have a knife. I'm growing up, you all. Okay, let me just spread this a little bit so I can say a howdy do to it. Okay, let's take a bite, right? Mmm. Nice. This reminds me of a real nice light cinnamon cinnamon roll or cinnamon bread in the morning. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. What would I give it? It's at least an eight. Maybe it's a nine. For me... Barbara, Barb, it's probably a good solid eight, but really, I think I'm a little prejudiced because you know how much I like chocolate. So it's close to a nine, too. So let's say it's an 8.5. Oops, there goes my little towels. What a nice start. One out of ten. One, you're going to get sick on the side of the road and never want to hear speak of it again. And ten, what is it, you all? You can tell it with me. I can't stop thinking about you. Tell all your friends and family, and you're going to go back for more. So... That one is nice. I don't know. It's climbing to a nine now that it sits with me. Okay, I'm just going to go take this next one. This is vanilla bean cupcake. Now, this is a oh another warm cookie. It's very flimsy. It's a deliciously cakey vanilla bean cookie with creamy vanilla cream cheese frosting and a dash of white sprinkles. Now, if you know what their cream cheese frosting is, if you like that, then you're going to probably like this cookie. Let me take a bite, right? I never really, I haven't been showing you the inside of that. It's a warm cookie, nice icing. I feel like this one has a little more um, vanilla and vanilla bean in it or something because you don't taste, it, it doesn't taste like a store-bought frosting. It's nice and light. It's an airy frosting. I think their frostings have really improved. Um, it's a seven and a half, eight for me. I think that... If I weren't so prejudiced about chocolate, I think I would give it a, a true eight, and the cinnamon fry bread would be an eight and a half or a nine. Oh, you know, I know. I'm so fickle. Fickle, pickle. Hey, listen, I want to give some shout outs if that's okay. If you guys don't like me doing it, just, just let me know. It won't hurt my feelings. Team Kranz, howdy doody. Relevant Cell, you've been so wonderful. And Kelly and Kat, and Library Lady, who's from Scotland. Oh, I love me some Scotland. Scotland's. Air feels different, or it just feels different. It's, it's like thicker. It's like more moisture in the air versus in the States. I think of the States forest are more crisp um, air, where Scotland is more moist air. Excuse me, I'm getting some cookie off of here. Anyway, Danielle, how do you do? Anyway, we, um, how have you, I, I've already asked you how you're doing. I hope you're doing all right. And if you're not, just, just try to be kind to yourself. You know, what I do sometimes if I'm struggling, and sometimes it's just I'm tired or I'm just grumpy because, you know, I had a rough morning or something. I just try to hide away for a little while till I settle down. It's good to give yourself some distance. Have you ever heard that quote? Anger provides space. Think about that sometime or think about it last time when you got upset. And sometimes you just need some space. So sometimes it's great to provide yourself some space before you get all out of control. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, you guys, we got two down, two to go. <laughs> well, that would be four, too. Um, or I could go like this. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, well, we are, I got to go home right away after this and start packing the car. We're going camping again. And you know, I am so proud of myself. And I, I don't want to brag or anything, but I just mean, I never dreamed at 66, well, I'll be 67 in August, um, that I would be tent camping on the ground. Now, maybe a cot, but no, I'm on the ground. I'm so happy. I'm so relieved I never thought I'd be able to do that again. When I had all those struggles, oh my goodness, these cookies, maybe they're a little titch underbaked this week. They don't taste underbaked. They don't look underbaked, so they're probably not, but they're just so crumbly this week. And I've lost the side of it again. I'm losing my cookies. <laughs> Gotta save every bit with the cost. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and some people say, oh, they're, they're high priced, but when you compare it to a bakery, they're pretty well on. And this is a bakery. Okay, this is a chilled cookie, I think. I'm assuming it is. This is the lemonade. Okay, can you see this? Come on, coming to you. A tart and refreshing lip-smacking lemon cookie topped with a swirl of zesty lemon frosting and a fresh slice of lemon. Okay, this is thinner than I usually see, too. Oh, it's just crumbling, tumbling. I don't know if I can do shorts this week. Let me just take a bite, right? Nice. Now I tell you. Excuse me. I said this last time. The cookie part is just a plain sugar cookie and has a little aftertaste kick to it. I wish they would make that a lemon cookie. The icing is nice. It's a lemon icing. It's not as airy as I would like. And you know, a slice of lemon you could just put on this and it'll make it a lemon cookie. You know, as far as lemon cookies go, I'm going to give that a seven, which very much surprises me. You know, Crumble says they like to have a crispy cookie when it's soft in the middle. So that's kind of the, their signature. So if you don't like a soft inside, then then it may not be the cookies for you. But some of them are, are, are not as soft. So I, I think I'm going to give that one a seven. I think it's a little underbaked for me, and I think I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry. Children, if you're watching this, do not eat crumbs from the floor. This is on my console. <laughs> I'm just that way, you all. <laughs> if I'm at, sitting at a restaurant or I'm e eating at home with a friend and there's some crumbs on the table, I just sit there and go, tit, tit, tit. I don't even know I'm doing it. Oh, I don't know this. Anyway, um, okay, we've well, already done three. Boop. One more to go. That's it. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be traveling along before I know it. Traveling along, singing a song. Hey, it's only a paper moon. Traveling over a cardboard sea. But it wouldn't be make-believe if you believed in me. Hey, it's only a canvas sky. I, you know, hanging over a Muslim sea. That's one of my favorite. I always go back to Chattanooga Choo Choo and Paper Moon when I just feel like swooning or whatever. I guess it's not really swooning, but, you know, just kind of. <laughs> You'll have one of those. If you're like 15 or 25 years old and you're rolling your eyes at me, I tell you, you just wait. You just wait. And Regans, you just wait. Let's get to the molten lava cake. And this is molten lava cookie. Again, they're very flimsy this time. Okay, there you go. Pretty, pretty cookie. A, a sumptuous dark chocolate cookie oozing with hot fudge and sprinkled with powdered sugar. Oh, little cookie, you're after my heart. Oh, I want to take a bite, right? I'm going to take a bite. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Da, da, da. What song is that? I don't know, but my car's a shaking. Okay, I'm going to take a bite, right? Mmm, this is perfection. It's a deep chocolate, but not too dark. Rich. I don't know how I'll do a short, but look at that oozy stuff inside. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm, that's an... Ooh. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, that's a good cookie. You know, you know it's a good cookie. You take a bite, you don't get the the fudge coming out the center. The hot fudge coming out the center. I just love me some hot fudge. Oh my goodness. And and then I never have the balls to say, please give me more hot fudge on a hot fudge Sunday, but I wish I would. But anyway, I like it on the bottom and then the middle and then the top. But anyway, I don't like it all on the bottom or all on the top. Anyway, this cookie, you all. Oh my gosh, it deserves a long beat, but I don't want to wake up all the neighbors. There are not very many around here, but I'm sure that they, well, I saw that man putting out his trash, so he's up. His wife may not be though, or his partner or whoever. Anyway. Oh my goodness, that is divine. Oh, I love that cookie. Oh, it is just a piece of heaven. It is well worth every penny and more. It is um it's a wonderful balance and the hot fudge is great. It's a very rich cookie, but if you like chocolate, do not hesitate. This week you've got to go get that molten lava. Oh my goodness. And then with what do I rate it? Well, it's at least a 10. And I know my rating's 1 to 10, but it is a 10. But it is a 14 as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I'll give it a 13. I'll give it a 13, but it is top of the line. It's got to be one of my top fives now. I'm telling you that right now. It definitely is. And that uh, that one, that, that nougat featuring Snickers is not. This is, maybe it is a 14. It's a 13 and a half. I love that cookie. <laughs> don't you be eyeballing my favorite cookies don't you cross that line we're gonna rumble if you touch my crumble hands off they're mine you might scream me a mumble cause my mouth be full of my favorite crumble <laughs> okay you all that's it for today i hope you have a wonderful week and a great day and take great care of yourselves okay you are you are precious and just remember to be gentle with yourself. Don't give yourself a hard time. It doesn't do any good. You can learn from your mistakes and then move on. Easy to say, hard to do. But the bottom line is try to do something nice for yourself today, okay? You all take good care. And until the next time, tally-ho, good.